Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today is a special one because this is, we actually finished a buddy read for this channel. We actually finished one. Uh, in the past, we have finished The Hobbit, um, but I did, I stopped along the way. Um, the Lord of the Rings ones, I think I got through the fellowship. It doesn't matter. This is the first complete read through we have done of anything as far as reading with E over on Goodreads, but this time we made it because I brought in my buddy Well Red Beard. Okay? So go check him out uh, if you haven't already. He's fantastic. Uh, for those of you who like my older videos where I don't do any editing whatsoever, I just sit and talk to a camera, Beard's your dude. So if you're like, oh man, I can't believe you're doing all this fancy stuff, then definitely go over and check Beard out. Uh, but today we are talking about Ali C's, uh, named C, at like, at like the C, you know, S E A. The Y is silent. Uh, go down hard. Beard's review should be up today, too. I'm not sure if it's not linked down there in the doobly doo. Just go over there. Just go over to Beard's channel. If you don't know where Beard's channel is, just well read Beard. Just Google it. Whatever. Anyways, so this book, uh, I have one minor gripe, and I'm going to get that minor gripe out of the way right up front. This is completely biased, completely subjective. Um, if you, I don't think, I was talking to Beard, and Beard was like, well, every, isn't everybody going to have a problem um, with reading about it? And I'm like, yeah, but I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of it, so that's my only gripe, and that is reading rape scenes. Um, I'm, I don't, I'm, I've never enjoyed them. I don't like writing them. Uh, that's just me personally. Um, it's just it. It's not. It's not that it's that it trigger that it triggers me or that. It just I don't find it enjoying to to read it. That that's it. I think that's the only thing, and that's and I'm only knocking off point five for that. I know it was important to the backstory, but also it, it rang a little. I mean, I know damn near every woman has a Me Too story. If not all, and all women have a Me Too story, but um, it. There was a lot of, I don't know, um, I'm trying to say this the right way. Uh, it felt a lot like Promising Young Woman, um, even the backstory, uh, almost to the point where I was like, okay, this is going to happen. This is, it, it, it became predictable because I've read about this type of situation so often. Am I saying stop writing about it? Hell no. Tell your stories. I just, I don't like reading about it. Um, but the... The other point I'm trying to make is, yes, it, it is needed. It was needed. Um, it was there. I just didn't like reading it. That's my own subjective opinion. Um, as far as the entire rest of the story, it was absolutely amazing, especially after our two uh, killers. That it says on the back that they're killers. Um, you have Meg, and we're going to talk about that name here in a second. Uh, we're talking about uh, Meg and Jack. Um, they're both killers. They end up bumping into each other. Once they finally meet, the book takes off, and I didn't want to stop, but I, I kept my pace. We were doing like 25 pages a day. I did cheat at the end and read the last 75 pages all in one go. No, the last 50 pages, I'm sorry. I stopped at 100 to check in, and then I read the next uh, the next 50 pages. But uh, once it gets going, man, it's and I, it didn't end anywhere. Like none of us, I don't think any of us expected it. Uh, there were several of us. I think at least, at least six or seven people joined the read along over on Goodreads. Um, I haven't checked the uh, the. I didn't want to be spoiled too much, and it's really hard to hide spoilers here on YouTube. So I didn't check the comments too much. Um, any big bricks of text, I completely skipped over. But I'll go back and talk to you guys. I will have already responded to you guys by the time this goes up. But. I had a lot of fun with this book. Um, the writing is fantastic. There are some hard truths in here um, that dudes are not going to like. Uh, well, certain types of dudes. Uh, most of us know that these, these things are problems. Most of us know and do not hang out with these types of dudes or even speak to these types of dudes. And sometimes one of your friends will pop up and be one of these types of dudes. Um, and that's when you cut ties, hopefully. Uh, but anyways, it's a, it's not a, a hard read in, as far as content is concerned, other than there are, there is the, uh, there's a lot of talk of rape, there's a lot of talk about Meg's backstory. Um, uh, another thing with this one is I, there's, there's a scene that just completely changes everything. Uh, like I was saying, all of us in the group thought we, it was going one place thought something was going to happen before something else happened and that thing did not happen it just 
starts with one moment. I don't even want to tell you what instigates it. It just starts with one moment and the, the ball gets rolling. Uh, I really enjoyed the way it ended. Uh, I didn't see, I didn't see any of that stuff coming. I knew they were going I knew that was going to happen there at the end. It just did not happen in the way I thought it was going to, probably because I had seen promising young woman. Um, and I, I got stuck on that for the first half of this book, and that's probably it's probably a lot of, of me not loving it right off the bat because I was so stuck on it. But once I got past that, once I got past that, and it turned into a completely different thing, I was all there for it. Now let's talk about Meg. Um, this, of course, it 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 doesn't feel that way, and it's not really uh, like a rape revenge fantasy. Um, it's not like I spit on your grave where uh, this person is hunting down the people that rape them. This stuff is all in uh, the past. With with this one, what you're getting is. A person hunting down people that really have no association with this person, but they are bad people. Then you have another killer who just is pulled, drawn to to kill with no. Se there's nothing sexual whatsoever about what they do. There might be a little bit of an arousal while they're killing, but it's more about the killing than it is about you know, you know the sexual release or whatever. But let's talk about Meg. Um, I I had I have not read this interview or this article or any any of this about uh, the author talking about how she was inspired by Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door. The young woman in that book is, I believe, called Meg. Someone else brought this up in the uh, I can't remember which one of you. I apologize. Um, uh, brought up that this article where uh, Ali says this. Ali C says this. Um, that was based on, uh, inspired by Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door. That character's name's Meg. This character's name name's Meg. So it feels like this, that it feels too on the nose not to be, you know, not, not connected. But it feels like, uh, and I don't want to spoil The Girl Next Door for anyone, but it feels like, it feels like it's, it, it was supposed to be that way. Like, like C was the author was going for, you know, a revenge fantasy for that character. And if that's the case, absolutely awesome. Um, I'm, I'm down for that. Uh, again, the literally the only thing, that, the only criticism I have is nitpick from me. I personally don't like reading about certain things. Um, the same way with uh, uh, pedophilia, uh, child endangerment, uh, death of a child. I don't like reading about it. I'll read it, I just don't like it. So in my own subjective opinion, this book's a five-star read. I gave it five stars, I believe, on Goodreads, but I put 4.5, and literally that .5, what I'm talking about is my own subjective opinion having to do with the rape stuff. Um, but by all means, if you like a good vigilante horror novel, this is the place to go. If you like really dark horror erotica, not, you know, people like fucking and cutting each other's guts out, but just the sexual tension um, while there's horror also. If you're a Barker fan, you're probably going to love this. I'm trying to think of more. I'm, I'm completely slipping because I'm not a huge fan of erotic horror. It worked here. My God, it worked here. Uh, absolutely fantastic tension between these two characters. You just want them to have sex. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. They're, you just want these two to go at each other, and I'm never like that with uh, with stories. I know I'm, I'm never sitting there going, "Would you two already?" I'm never like that. But here we are. But if you read "Go Down Hard," <laughs> I love this title. Have you read "Go Down Hard" uh, by Ali C? If you have, please let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly doo. Um, me and Beard will be doing one of these beard alongs every single month. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to my channel. Whatever. Uh, go follow the Goodreads group if you want to. I'll leave all that stuff down there in the doobly-doo. If you want to throw out options for what we should read next, maybe it's something Beard reads a lot, especially in the indie market. Um, so if anybody wants to maybe bring up something indie uh, that we haven't read, make sure definitely check Beard's channel because, like I said, he reads so much. Um... Check his channel first, see if he's done it uh, yet. And if you know him personally, maybe ask him. 
Uh, but if you have any suggestions, leave them down there in the doobly-doo. If you've read this book, let me know whether or not you loved it or hated it. If you loved it or hated it, tell me why you loved it or hated it so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.